classification of contracts contracts are basically classified on the basis of the validity the formation sorry uh, yes formation and performance based on validity or enforceability contracts are divided into valid contracts void void agreements voidable contracts unenforceable contracts and illegal agreements moving on to the first one a valid contract an agreement enforceable at law is a valid contract an agreement which fulfilled all the essential conditions of a contract which is stated in the section 10 of the contract act is a valid agreement for example a offers to sell his house for 10 lakhs to b b agrees to buy this at the price stated by a it's a valid contract because you have a valid consideration and a proper consent which is given to them void contract an agreement which was legally enforceable when it entered into but which was which became void due to some supervening impossibility of performance for example a contract between a citizen of india and a pakistan citizen is a valid contract during a peace period but once a uh, if war breaks out the agreement would become void both parties even though when they in entered into it was a peace condition and is a valid contract since if war breaks out it becomes an impossibility for performance so it becomes unlawful void agreement according to section 2g an agreement which is not enforceable by law by either of the parties is void no legal rights or obligation can arise out of a void agreement that is it is void ab initio at the or at the very beginning it is void for example an agreement with a minor or without a consideration if i say i am ready to sell the house but i am not giving a, the value or the price freely you cannot say it is a valid contract or a valid agreement because there is no consideration which is an essential element of a contract the next one is voidable contract according to, to section 2i an agreement which is enforceable by law at the option of one or more of the parties but not at the option of the other is a voidable contract for example due to coercion or due to lack of free uh, consent if it is not given for a agreement you would say the contract is voidable but if the person say okay it is okay then you could say later it could turn into a valid contract the difference between a void and voidable contract a void agreement from the very beginning has no legal effects it is unenforceable at law whereas a voidable is one which in which one party may affirm or reject at the option it is a valid and enforceable one defect in a void agreement is curable unforceable contracts these contracts are valid but cannot be enforced due to technical defects like uh, if there is no proper stamp duty being given or if the signature is not been uh, put correctly so, such contracts cannot be enforced in the courts due until these defects or a proper stamp duty have not been paid or the signature of both the parties have been given it does not come under a valid contract illegal contract a contract which is either prohibited by the law or otherwise against the policy of the law is basically called as illegal agreement which is void ab initio example a contract for dacoity or smuggling of goods this cannot be treated as a valid contract because it talks of the subject matter of the contract as a illegal one an illegal agreement or void but all void agreements cannot be illegal with regard to the second aspect of contract formation under formation it is divided into express contract implied contract constructive or quasi contract ecom contracts or contracts over internet standard form contracts let's look at all the five in detail express contract an express contract is one entered into by words which either may be spoken or written while the proposal and the acceptance is made in words it is an express contract 
talking about implied contract but a proposal or acceptance is made in words it is an implied contract but is expressed you could say it is written or in words implied contract can be smelled out of the surrounding circumstances and the conduct of the surrounding circumstances and the conduct of the parties between them for example i have been employing two employees in my firm i am bound to give them salary or if i get into a bus i am bound to pay the fare for it these are implied contracts you need not enter into physical contracts for such circumstances constructive or quasi contracts this type of contract have little affinity with the contract such a contract does not arise by virtue of agreement it is a contract wherein there was no intention from both the parties to enter into a contract but due to some reasons they had to form for example i got purse lost on the road this is a quasi contract both of us is not seen nor are we in relationship with each other but as a finder of a lost good i am supposed to return it to the party concerned ecom contracts or contracts which we enter into using internet these are also called as electronic data inter interchange or cyber contracts standard form contracts sometimes referred to as adhesion or boilerplate contract is a contract between two parties where the terms and conditions are set by one of the parties and the other party is placed into take it or leave it in a position for example um, while we are taking a insurance while we are booking a hotel while we are going for a ticket you giving it for a laundry all the forms it is written under the conditions terms and conditions are written in the overleaf only we follow or these conditions are implied in the contract such contracts we hardly can make any changes in those terms and conditions these are called standard form contracts the third classification on the basis of performance or execution it is classified into two executed and executory contract an executed contract is said to be executed when both the parties to the contract have completely performed their share of obligation and nothing remains to be done for example a sells a tv sets to b for 20000 and pays a price back and he hands over the tv to him the price have been paid the object has been handed over there is nothing left the contract is already executed third one is executory uh, sorry the second one is executory contract in which both the obligations are outstanding either partly or wholly i have paid in advance my goods are yet to receive such things are called or such cases are called executory contracts coming on to the main element of contract law the essentials of a contract the first one is an offer and acceptance there must be a valid offer and acceptance an intention to create a legal relationship between the parties entering into contract a lawful consideration capacity of parties free consent a lawful object certainty of meaning possibility of performing it must not be declared to void and the legal formalities which are associated we'll be dealing with the almost all of them in a much detailed manner